friends in which you have no idea how it really works, but you still do it regularly? Or have you ever experienced problems which you think are not resolvable? Say no more! We are here to give you some life hacks which can be really useful in your everyday encounter. Don't no feel to fill your balloons for a party? Well, no problem! Just put vinegar and baking soda in a bottle, then attach the balloon to the top of the bottle. When vinegar and baking soda meets, they create the gas carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide now has nowhere to go but into the balloon, blowing it off. But you should have found out that the balloon at room temperature may have been slightly faster in blowing off your balloon. And this is because the colder the temperature causes the reaction to take place more slowly, releasing the gas less effectively. And because the balloon is filled with carbon dioxide, it falls faster than a normal balloon because it is denser than a room air, which is mostly nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Have you ever played ping pong but suddenly just put it over fire, but not too close? According to Charles' law, as the temperature increases, the volume of the gas also increases, making your ping pong ball as good as new. Your baby cousin went to your house putting stickers all over your place. Don't get angry. You can easily remove it by applying heat. Stickers sometimes use very strong adhesives so that it won't easily be removed and may last much longer than normal adhesives. By putting heat on it, it melts the adhesive of the sticker, which makes it easy for us to remove stickers. You were eating a very hot soup in a very cold day, then your tongue felt like hair. Don't just drink cold water, put sugar on your tongue. Sugar contains a lot of glucose that immediately suits down the flesh of the tongue. As tongue is very sensitive part, the heating can get absorbed to the pores of the tongue. It also makes the outer surface of the tongue very delicate when tongue is burnt very severely. You know you're getting bigger if your shoes become smaller. Just put on three pairs of socks, put your shoes on, and blow dry for 10 minutes. Because of the expansion in thermodynamics, when an object is heated, the atoms and molecules occupy more space because of the change in movement, causing the object to expand. Also, its kinetic energy increases. The foot with pairs of socks serve as a guide on how big the shoe will expand. When silver is tarnished, they combine with sulfur and form silver sulfide, which is black. It forms in the layer of the silver and darkens the silver. By using aluminum foil and baking soda, it removes the sulfur sulfide from the surface of the silverware and brings back its original shiny silver look. Having trouble separating the yolk from the white? Simply squeeze an empty water bottle on the top of the yolk, then release pressure on the bottle. When you squeeze the bottle, you are decreasing the air inside. Releasing the squeeze of the bottle allows the air to rush back into the bottle. The egg yolk separates easily from the egg white because of their different viscosity. While the egg white is runny and slimy, the yolk is more solid, enabling the entire yolk to enter the bottle while the egg white runs off onto the plate or bowl. Based on researches, the brain functions really well when the person already woke up. From 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., the brain is already prepared for learning. Creativity is best within this duration. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., it is best when we do difficult tasks because our brain can already take multiple tasks. From 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., the brain already gets fatigued. This time is best in doing easy tasks or collaboration with someone. From 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., this duration is in a maintenance phase. The hormone melatonin, which makes a person sleepy, is in low level. It is best to make personal tasks. From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., melatonin increases in level, so the brain should already relax. Finally, 10 p.m. onwards, the brain compares everything what happened or what had learned on that day, so the brain already needs to rest. Hugging or holding hands with someone special has been proven to instantly reduce your stress level. According to psychotherapist Virginia Satsu, we need 4 hugs a day for survival, 8 hugs a day for maintenance, and we need 12 hugs a day for good. 
This may very well be the hot threshold that allows your body to produce ample amounts of oxytocin, which is released in response to physical touch. The neuropeptide oxytocin, released by your pituitary gland, is a naturally occurring hormone in your body with incredibly powerful health-giving properties. A 20 second harm along the 10 minutes of hand holding also reduces the harmful physical effects of stress, including its impact on your blood pressure and heart rate. This makes sense since hugging is known to lower levels of stress hormone like cortisol. Don't eat this, but don't throw them away either. Sidika gel keeps the humidity inside an object as low as possible. It is put in some objects or packaging because excessive moisture inside it may damage the object inside. Moisture also brings mold and spoilage to the object. You are fixing your hair then suddenly white particles fall off. The dandruff. Cold water will close the cuticles of the hair and skin pores, which makes it much easier for them to clean out dirt or any harmful substance that may cause negative reactions like dandruff. You were swimming with your friends and you forgot your phone inside your pocket. Putting wet phone in rice can help save your phone, especially when it is sealed in a plastic bag. The rice absorbs the water from the phone and it also draws out the moisture of the water. It is better to leave the phone in the rice within one day, but do not expect that the phone will work properly like before. Cellphone radiation causes insomnia. Using your phone before bed can prevent you from going to sleep. A study suggests that using a cell phone before going to bed could cause insomnia, headaches, and confusion. It can also cut your amount of deep sleep, interfering with your body's ability to refresh itself. The study strongly suggests that mobile phone use is associated with specific changes in the areas of the brain responsible for activating and coordinating the stress system. The radiation may also disrupt production of the hormone melatonin, which controls your body's internal rhythms.